we're here with Sim Beyond here at ID Tech X Show. So who are you? Uh, my name is Alice and I am the operations manager here at Sim Beyond. So uh, what are we looking at here? Um, here you can see uh, OLEDs. These are OLED lighting tiles from uh, Philips Research. And uh, they are here to demonstrate the type of devices that we can simulate with our software. Uh, if you look in a cross section of a small part of this device, you will see what uh, is coming up on the screen now, which is a visualization of what our software can do. We model the movement of charges within uh, an organic electronic device, and uh, this will give us predictions on uh, efficiency, color points of uh, devices such as OLEDs for lighting and display applications, as well as organic photovoltaic devices, so solar cells, transistors, sensors, and uh, all of the devices that are based on organic molecules. Is that a room? No, this is actually uh, the device stack. So um, each and every device of this is made from many layers that on top of each other, and each layer has a specific uh, role. So and this example, is how you layers, see it. For example, so uh, now that it's rotating, yeah. but uh, each layer, we have a uh, hole injecting side here. The red dots are holes and uh, the blue dots are electrons. So the other side we have an electron injecting layer. The white parts are the electrodes. And uh, here in the middle we have a matrix where um, these charges recombine, especially here in this uh, interface region. And when these charges recombine, they make a photon, and a photon is light. This will then come out of the device as light. Uh, so uh, are you the only ones doing this? Um, we have a unique approach and model to uh, simulating organic electronic devices. Um, there are other competitors on the market doing it differently, but we have a fully 3D model that is uh, very accurate starting from uh, molecular parameters and uh, these are can be obtained by experimental um, uh, results or from other calculations done uh, earlier on on a smaller scale even. So OLED lighting is going to be huge, right? So everybody developing that need to work with you? Or? Yeah, OLED lighting is one step, but if you think of high-end smartphones, those have OLED displays. And uh, we can help uh, OLED manufacturers and materials manufacturers to um, increase their efficiency to make new materials that are better for uh, the applications, both flexible, which is why the organic electronics are, are very interesting. You can make flexible displays as well as other applications like solar cells that are flexible and that you can put inside uh, buildings, for example. So it's not only OLED? No, it's uh, all organic electronic devices based on molecules. So yeah. what other things are there like this? OLED and then what? OLED, OPV is organic photovoltaics, so solar cells. We can also simulate OPD, which is uh, organic photo detectors. And uh, these uh, you can use, for example, in wearable electronics and in medical applications to check pulse um, blood oxygenation, for example, but also make artificial retinas out of them. And these are also made with organic materials. And uh, other applications can be organic batteries uh, as well. And uh, um, any type of uh, electronic process that is um, yeah, based on molecules. And do you have customers? Yes, we do. We are not at liberty of disclosing uh, and, their names. You, are you a startup or not really? We are a startup. We have been in business for two and a half years now. And we are at this time completely self-sufficient. We use uh, uh, European or uh, funding for, to increase our knowledge pool and uh, our team to uh, broaden and do the R&D for our products. But we are self-standing as of Where now. Where are you based? We are based in Eindhoven, the Netherlands. And how many uh, people? We have uh, seven. We are seven in the team right now, including physicists, software developers, uh, and sales. So what's next? What more could you simulate? Um, yeah, we're working right now. The next logical step is uh, uh, better understanding organic photovoltaics. And uh, a lot of the talks here at, uh, at ID Tech X were also on perovskites and other applications of 
these photovoltaics and that is uh, the logical next step. We are also working in uh, um, collaboration with the universities in making our model even more uh, accurate to a level that has been unprecedented and uh, that is all state-of-the-art research at this time. And beyond because Beyond because uh, we, don't only, we, we don't only simulate and explain what happens, but we can predict with our model. So you can uh, do the simulation before you make the device, and that is unique.